this morning and uh, very very cold so I'm going to do this one very very quickly. Um, my Jerusalem artichokes are ready to come up. They're basically ready to come up any time between sort of November, December all the way through to sort of end of January, maybe the beginning of February. Now it's January now I wasn't able to take them out before because we had loads of snow and the ground was too hard. If you don't manage to get them out it doesn't matter they will stay in there and then they will shoot and then you'll get some more the following year so i'm going to i dug one up yesterday just as a little test and i'm going to tell you what um, so i'm going to show you um how to dig another one up and what you're supposed to be looking for okay so get yourself a pair of secateurs and um chop the oh the plant down just leave a few inches um, at the top now that can go on the compost heap okay this just gives you something just to get hold of okay and then you get your big fork don't dig right up against it they do come quite a long way out so I would give it about four four ish inches and push the fork down as far as it will go even though we've had all this rain the, the soil is still really nice it's not cloggy actually but I'm on top of the hill so I I'm quite lucky, the people down the ends um, have a, get a bit more stodgy than we do. And pull it back and hopefully underneath you will find lots of Jerusalem artichokes. Here they are. Um, they do look a bit like stones, so you're going to have to look quite carefully. But can you see all of them underneath there? There, there, there they are. Okay, so, and there'll be quite a few of them. So. Give it a shake or a bash, whichever way they come off, um, and pick them all off. These have done so well. I think these were the ones that I got from Victoriana. God, look, that one's huge. Can you see that one? It's massive. Right, well, I'm going to um, just finish off getting the ones from this plant, and then I'll show you all the ones that I managed to get out of it. Right, well, I've just dug one plant up, and I've got out of one, uh, one plant. There's, some of them are huge. I know they're covered in mud, but they've been in the soil. Um, but I'll, I'll leave these to, to dry and then the soil will come off a bit easier. But look, massive. I'm so chuffed. Um, these are, you can roast these or you can mash them. Uh, so I think we might have some for dinner tonight. Now, if you don't manage to get them all, ew, all out, then... Um, and don't worry, but I would suggest not taking uh, any more out from about beginning to the middle of February, um, just because they'll then start shooting again. Because if you do get some now, you can start planting them now, and they'll sit in the soil, um, and then they'll start to grow. So you don't want to disturb them once they've started to grow. But what you could do, if you do forget um, any that are in there, or if you leave them in there, they'll just start shooting and then they'll come up again next year. Now, if you do try and dig all of the ones that you've got this year that you've grown up, you can put some sort of middly sized ones. I wouldn't suggest putting the big ones because they're really cool. But I would suggest putting ones um, sort of middly size, about that sort of size. It's about three inches across ish. Uh, back in the soil and then they'll start growing again and then God, I'm getting mud everywhere um, and then uh, you'll have some more next year so you really only technically need to buy one lot um, and as long as you leave some in the soil then they'll just start shooting next year so I'm going to dig a few more up um, and then any others that I dig up I'll sort of distribute about that bed so whatever bed you choose for your true smart jokes make sure that that's the bed they stay in because they'll just keep shooting up. Uh, I'm looking forward to those. They have sort of a nutty flavour. Um, so, uh, yes, I'll enjoy cooking those. But I hope you found that useful. And I'm going to stay here for a bit longer and then I'm going to go home because it's very cold. I do have a cup of tea with me. Um, so uh, I think I might have some of that. Um, but I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.